basketball analyst and star of a pretty good radio show. Jay Will, have you heard about this new show? 6 this just to in? 10 a.m. No, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Oh. Is KJM, Keyshawn, Jay Will, and Max. Tremendous new morning. I'm so show. used to hearing the promos for your show yes, that I always plug your show now. That's what yes, I do. Shameless uh, shill. Yes. Let's talk about the Lakers, Jay. <laughs> um, their third straight win, squeaking by the Rockets, but. LeBron went for 30 AD, and Russ added 27 apiece. They starting to find their groove? Look, Frank Vogel is tinkering with the lineups. Avery Bradley got the last two starts. They've gone smaller, which means AD can play more of the five. I like when they go small. Inevitably, they have to be big. They have to get back to where they were defensively last year. That'll be the key for them, Max. You think they will? I, eventually, I will bet on LeBron James and Russell Westbrook to get back defensively to where they were. Westbrook will figure it out second half of the yes. season. Pelican star Zion Williams is, Williamson is progressing in his recovery from fractured right foot. He's going to have another set of scans in two or three weeks to determine if he can start five on five. Or What's your level of concern with Zion? It's been a 10. Yes. I, I, I've been concerned with Zion ever since I watched him play at Duke because he has a body type that can get a little bit out of hand. Right now, hearing reports that he's over 300 pounds, seeing him work out. You saw what Charles Barkley said about him last night on TNT, having some fun. It, for a guy that attacks the rim all the time, you get worried about him and that transition, that chaos. You get worried about him. We've never seen a guy like that exactly. Tonight, KD Harden and the Nets host Trey Young and the Hawks. Good game to go to, I think, tonight. This is a good one. The Beard has picked it up in Brooklyn last two wins, a couple with a triple-double against the Pistons. Before that, Harden scored 29, added eight points, eight rebounds, eight assists, and a win over the Pacers. What's your take on how Harden, uh, KD, and Brooklyn are coming along without Kyrie? Well, we'll have feet on the floor tonight, Max. You and I will be there at the game watching it courtside. Look, I, I think it's a matter of time. James Harden has adjusted to the whole foul hunting. I mean, look, tonight you have two of the most controversial foul hunters in the history of basketball. Yeah. Trey Young going against James Harden. They right? could call this rule the Trey Young James Harden. 1,000%. Yeah. The question is, defensively, at times, Brooklyn takes possessions off. They want to beat you offensively. Who guards Trey Young? You saw that when the 76ers played Trey Young. Tyrese Maxey did one hell of a job staying attached to his hip. This is a great challenge for the Brooklyn Nets defensively to show you how they're making ways. You know what the best part about going to a basketball game with Jay Will is? Where you sit. 1,000%. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.